As I was using my portable air pump, suddenly it stopped working. So naturally, I unplugged it from a cigarette lighter and plugged it into auxiliary power outlet in the center console underneath the armrest. After which the pump worked for another 10 seconds and then it stopped again. So at this point I figured I should not be using this pump because obviously there's something wrong with it. I plugged in my phone charger and of course there was no power to it. This is a common problem and can usually be fixed by replacing burnout fuse. Any fuse box for your cigarette lighter would most likely be located underneath the hood, but you need to check with your owner's manual. On this Cadillac CTS, it's located on the left or passenger side, underneath all this plastic. And once you find it, just follow the instructions on the fuse box on how to open it. In this case, there are three clips that needs to be pushed to release the cover. When you remove the cover, just place it right beside the fuse box, upside down, so you can read fuse locations and compare it to where they are. Unfortunately, different cars have different names for their cigarette lighter fuse, so for that you're gonna have to check your owner's manual. Some of the names they use are pretty intuitive, like cigar, cigarette, others are not so much, like IP or LTR in this case. And when you identify the fuse on the map, you need to compare and locate it in the fuse box. And here it's the third one from the left. You count one, two, three, and it's a 20 amp according to the map. And you can use needle nose pliers to pull it out and check it out. Here you can see the top of the arch is missing, and that's how it's supposed to look like when it's in working condition. And here's side by side. Usually you can find some spare fuses inside the box. In this particular model, you can see them here, so you need to choose the right one to replace the bad one with. The bad one was yellow, 20 amps, so you pull that one out, but be careful, don't want to squeeze it too hard and damage internal linkage. And just place it in the same spot you pulled the bad one out. And that's how easily you fix your cigarette lighter outlet, but I also need to fix my auxiliary power outlet. And the fuse box for that is located in a different place, at least in this car. For your specific model, you may want to check your owner's manual to see where all the fuse boxes are. In this Cadillac, to fix auxiliary power outlet, you need to open up the trunk, locate and open up the battery cover, and here you can see another fuse box. Here is the map with names of all fuses and the one in particular I'm looking for it's called AUX Outlet but if you have a different car the name would be different. In this box there is a special tool to retrieve fuses if you want to use it. But this fuse is located in a difficult spot so I'm not gonna use this tool since I already have my needle nose pliers. As you can see, the top of the arch is also damaged and missing, so I need to replace it. And if you don't have any spare fuses, you can buy a pack of these for just about a dollar or two at your local auto parts store. Just take burnout fuse with you to the store so they know exactly what to replace it with. And we all done here. Everything works great. And if you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends and also hit the like button. Thanks.